Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on um, how to make an optical flare in Cinema 4D. Um, as far as I know, there is only, I think, one or two tutorials on YouTube on how to do it right now. So, um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, the first thing you want to do is you're going to make sure that you have Cinema 4D downloaded. I have a YouTube video on my page on how to get it for free, but I might take it down because I'm going to get copyrighted for it. So, um, watch it while it's up right now. Um, so anyways... What you're just going to do is you're going to create a text. I already made it, so I'm not going to go through how to make 3D text in Cinema 4D because it's quite easy. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to click this, and you're going to click on the light. You want to drag the light back, and then you want to drag it up a little tiny bit so it's about in the middle of the text. Um, and then after you do that, you're going to make another light. And you're going to take this light and you're going to drag it slightly above the text like this. Um, so after you do that, you're going to go down here to the light object. You're going to click on Lens. And you're going to make sure that the glow is on Artifact. And then you're going to go down to Settings and click Edit. Once you're in this, you're going to click that little gray box and it'll bring you to the color picker. And then you're going to click this. I'm going to make it a green type color. <clears throat> Just hit OK. And as you will see in the preview box right here, is there's a green circle. So after you do that, you're going to want to go down here to size, make the size 50%, and R, instead of having a 1, make it 0 0.15. So as you do that, you will see that a line is starting to form in the preview box. So as you do that, you want to go over to here where it says beams, thickness, breaks, and width. You're going to drag the beam down to about, th or not to about, to 3, because that's the lowest it goes. And breaks, you're going to make sure that that's 0. So once you have all of those settings down here, you can just click OK and get out of here. And then drag this up a bit until you see rotation down at the bottom here. You're going to change the rotation from 0 to 31 degrees. And then after you do that, and when you render it out, um, um, there you go. You have an optical flare. Um, so after you do that, you're, it looks better with two optical flares, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to light one, hit f edit, copy, edit, paste, and then it'll create another light, the same exact thing as the one before, and you're going to drag this light below the text like this. And then once you render that out, Um, you have two optical flares now. So, I'm just going to show you a little bit of keyframing on this. Click on the light too. Click on your auto keyframing button down here. It's a little red button. And then add a keyframe. Then drag the keyframe bar all the way to 90. And then you can drag this light to the left a little bit, like that. And then you want to go to light 1. Drag it to the beginning. Add a keyframe in. Drag it to 90, about... And then drag this one to the left. And then if you uh, you can go back here and hit play. And you will see that the lights go two opposite ways like that. And that's how you know you did it right. So um, thanks for watching this video. Please rate, or not rate, like this video, comment, and subscribe.